What's up, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is I. Mr. Mr. Mostaff. <laughs> and we have a special guest today. The backseat rider. Too peasy. And of course. What? Lady Mostaff is here. Uh, we on our normal weekend thing Headed to the gym but Like I said we got a special guest Going to the gym with us Gonna work her out Till her bones fall apart <laughs> Your bones gonna fall apart She said nope <laughs> But we, gonna, we came here to talk about I, I'm I'm gonna go off his. You know what? Is that his real name anyway? Oh. Well, it's, I guess it's not his real name. We've been calling him that for so long. Uh, what are you talking about, sir? Sean Diddy Kong. What well, that is his name? Is his name Sean Kong? Yes, sir. You know we've been calling him so much other stuff. I forgot that his real name was Sean. Sean Combs. Which I spoke about it the other day briefly when everything was happening. And uh. I decided to bring the wifey in on this conversation. What, what are you doing? Uh, She's not focused. First of all, I didn't know you was going to start <laughs> recording. Like, you'd be messing with the phone. I don't be knowing what you're doing. We hear. Hear. <laughs> but if you've been under a rock you don't know you know everything going on with with Puffy yeah the allegations that's what I'm calling them allegations <laughs> because nothing has been proven nothing is fact right now and that's what it's just what it is and I realize man, this situation is like, man, it makes me. I understand why I always rode. Well, I didn't always, but for the most part of my life. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yes, man, they need to do something they need about to this. fix that. Too much money downtown. We have these streets like that. But uh, that's why I rode one deep. Like, like I'm zero. Run one deep. Because <laughs> when the shit hits the fan, man. Everybody just scattered like roaches. In which I get people could be supporting him behind the background. Like you ain't gotta come out in uh up front in the public eye and say anything like hey here you need me, holler at me. If you need anything, I got you. Which that could be the case. But, you know, with everything that's been going on, people have been talking like, all y'all people are so-called friends and at the brunch and all of this and made made money together. And, you know, they saying he took care of a lot of people and families and stuff like that. Schools, colleges, donate to colleges. Yeah, and everybody just, just turn their back on you. In but, the heartbeat. I, I told you what that is. 
I told you what that is. People are scared that if they come out and support him, they're gonna get dragged into these cases. But it goes with, that goes with what, with what uh, my boy Boosie was saying that you're supposed to be my friend. But, Regardless, whatever you getting dragged through. If we, if we, if, we, if, if you my friend, then you my friend. Even through the thick and that would say through the thick and thin. It ain't when everything is just good. It's when the stuff is bad. Like hey. We just need to recognize that people ain't built like that. Yeah, it's like what Young Jock was saying. He was like, hey, I, I don't know. What I've been with him, I've never seen anything so crazy. He's been with him, he's been solid. And we've just been people who came out and said that. Like, I've never seen anything uh, crazy or uh, stuff like what they talking. But people trying to put it on him, like, oh, you seen something. You know something. I think he was talking about his... Uh, Co-host on the radio show, he was saying he had to they pull up to the side, like, "Hey, just stop saying that, because once you get that out there in the world, in the universe, everybody gonna start thinking that he covered up something." You keep, you keep saying like, "I know something, or I seen something, man. What I seen ain't what what that person is seeing. Everybody doesn't do everything around, do the same things around everybody." That's true. But people will see if you want to be a part of something, because. <laughs> Like uh, my boy Cocaine. If y'all don't know who Cocaine is, check him out. He's the been on a lot of he's from the West Coast. A lot of Dr. Dre features. I actually did songs with Puffy, which he tells a story about <clears throat> uh, uh, back in the days where he took us to a party. Yeah, I guess they was recording, doing some songs, or whatever. This was like what early 2000s, mid 2000s or something. And he. It's like man, we gonna after they finish whatever whoop de woo. He was like, man, we gonna we gonna go out and kick it. We gonna go to to go to this club. <laughs> okay, tell the story like you know went to the club. Well, at first he asked him. If Actually, he yeah, to he was it. like when we got in the car, he was like, man, he had this little slot tray pulled out, man, had, like some this pills, some X and everything all in there. He was like, nah, I'm cool. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mess with that. So like, cool. Went on to the party, and he said, you know, they get to the party. First floor, all right. It's like three levels, I guess. Maybe four, but I think it was him. He just said three levels. It was like get to the second floor. It's like okay, it's a little different crowd up on this floor. Then he came. <laughs> he got to that uh, that, third, uh, that floor. third floor. He was like, man, what the? He was like, you know, men up there doing what they do with each other, kissing or whatever. Or all like. He said he turned and looked at Puffy like. Nigga, what, nigga, what the hell you got me in? So, Puffy took him, got him up out of there. And he was like, you know, he dropped me off. I went on my way. Puffy went on and did this thing. He was like, he just told that story. I was like, Puffy, he was testing him to see see, see what he was on. See if he was, uh, uh. What he was into. Yeah, what he was into. If he was going to hang out and just, uh. He was cool with the spot, which ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, because you don't know who like what or whatever, so you you test it. Because you get a variety. Yeah. Each floor has something different. Yeah, but he went to the third floor. He didn't. He said he it. went to every floor. He said that he was said, cool. Well, uh, yeah, I guess he did. Yeah, he I'm did about to say it. he like he just went and stayed on. Nah, he said that he said he went to the first yeah, he floor. Did. He was you know yeah, it was he, this, you know this type of vibe. The second floor had a different type of vibe. Both of those vibes were cool. Yeah, he said that, that was cool. But when you get that third floor. Off the chain. Like, that's... But me personally, I didn't feel like that was a bad thing. You giving people options. Yeah, you seeing how you want to play. So, but I, I, I get it. Like I said, if you don't know somebody, you want to see what they into, then you just get their uh, reaction yeah. as you take them. Like, I'm not. A, he's not into that. That's not this type of uh, party for this cat. Yeah. So, but yeah, like. The interview, it wasn't crazy, but yeah, he told his story. I'm like, I didn't see nothing wrong with that. And, you know, he, 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 even he just said he didn't see nothing wrong. Everybody was like, well, he was just testing to see if he was down with the get down. But he wasn't. But with the way everything's going on with people just... Man, people will just leave you in a heartbeat as soon as they hear something now. It's just crazy to it me. It ain't even that. been proven fact, ain't even been charged, ain't even been to court, ain't even been nothing. It's like they say, you guilty until you're not guilty. 
That's what it is. We've came to you're guilty until until you're not guilty. I just I do I feel like you know what Jock them or like what Bootsy was saying. Like you you everybody cool when it's partying. When we when I'm supplying the food, when I'm supplying the party, when I'm supplying the alcohol, when shit is lit, then don't let me go broke or don't let something bad happen to me. Then everybody Ain't nobody around to help you, support you, be there for you. Know you know what? I kind of think that it makes me. I look. I guess you can look at it this way. You can be like, well, if you're not saying nothing, then maybe you was one of the ones doing something. Or, or you scared? Like, oh, they saying he had recordings, these secret recordings. Like, maybe you thinking like, oh God, what did he catch me doing? Like, yeah, because now, now you don't know because you've been drinking. Well, you don't. In that case, you need to be a friend. You need to be like, hey, you, you good? What, what's going on, man? How can I get them, them tapes that you up? Because, hey, it, that way he won't put nothing out on you if something comes out. Like, you would nah. think it would be that way, but yeah. people don't seem to be moving in that space. People are like, I ain't saying nothing. I'm avoiding them at all costs. I'm like, man, it's crazy. I do. I, I really do think. I, I think it's. I, I do think it's crazy that not. I haven't seen not one person. Other than Jock, I, I guess you can kind of say that Boosie came out kind of like. They said, they said Tyrese came out. And said but something. he pulled. I told you he t he had a whole thing. He typed on his page, and then the next day it was off. So did he? Did somebody tell him to take it down? His website take that stuff down? Don't. Uh, My whole thing is. Is it one of them go away posts that you can put up? Nah, it looked. It was like a it post on, on his on actual there. page, and it was talking. It basically he was just saying like. Don't you think it's crazy all these people that he supported all the different things he's done? He was basically saying that ever since he known him, he's been a good ass dude to him. That he never had no issues with him, you know. And it was a long, a pretty long post. Yeah. Bob go this page yesterday and it's gone. So it made me think like somebody told him to take it down. But but or you know maybe he heard something else like ah. I don't know. I just, I mean, I think that the whole idea that these are allegations, like really, if if they really had what they needed on him, he'd be in jail, yeah. up under the jail. Is I know that there's a process ask, they got to But you know, it's like, what was I watching earlier? Actually, it was Jock talking about it. I know we got this thing where when the feds come out, they got something on you. Right. But there's been a lot of times that you, he was saying also that you know fans come they they do that what they do search try to find something and they gotta let you go they ain't got nothing or they but, don't have what they need yeah they don't have what they need so it could be that case like yeah they came they searched but way they did come and search was crazy with the raids like man you would have thought no, it was i think they're trying to make an example out of him you would have thought it was el chapo <laughs> the way they had and that's what everybody was saying because normally they come at night everybody's like when did they come in the day like that normally they come at night when they raid when you sleep about two where well, they probably like puffy don't sleep during the night so, so <laughs> he always up partying so maybe that's why we ain't gonna hit him at night we gonna come in the daytime <laughs> yeah, then did you see did you see the black kid that was right like trying to go through the traffic Talking about, yeah, I'm glad y'all taking him down. He be having parties at late nights, and it be a lot of young girls getting off fans. So, yeah, go ahead. You, you see him, and he, then his mama came out and recanted his... He probably don't get invited to the parties. That's why he mad. Well, I guess <laughs> his mama said that he's, like, he's just, you know, like a headache kid, and he just wanted to be in the hype. And so she recanted, like, all of that stuff he's saying is well, BS. We ain't never had no that, problem man, with him. Uh, that shit get you in trouble. It can get you in trouble. You saying shit you don't know nothing about. Now look, this is what I'm gonna say. As a woman, if he did some yeah, of the things he, they if, saying he did, he, he, he deserved to be under the jail, just like all the other pedophiles. Yeah. But these are allegations. Well, these pedophile charges though. Well, these are all girls. Some of these, women. Some of these girls that. is young. Some of these girls are saying that they were too young. Nah. Some well, of the, some of these girls, because don't nobody know who I, some of these well, girls is. Ain't nobody came out and like the only one we one we know is the chick who's they saying she gonna have to reveal herself now. And she that, said she was underage when first approached. See, I ain't heard none of that. All I know is she's been hidden, and they saying that he uh, what they say he done something or whatever to her. I also told I was telling him that like I think it's funny that like Carisha. 
that a lot of things that she had on her page with her and Diddy doing things have the page has kind of been scrubbed. But I I had seen something over the summer saying they had already they she wasn't fin she they wasn't went together to, they went together together they was doing they own they was they was together but they was moving like that we can do whatever we type of deal. Yeah. Because right. I heard them spoke on that like way before even this whole puppy stuff came out. I heard them speak on that and they were saying something about it. Like, are we just, our relationship is cool. We just do what we do. And that's what it is. And the same as Mary J. Like, I have been seeing a lot of stuff with her and him. I don't see that stuff on there either. either. Well, all I know is that what, what the uh, lady on the radio, the lawyer on the radio station was saying that uh, since she's in them two or, well, no, uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, 50 Cent Baby Mama and Carisha is a name tied to, I guess, the, they said a RICO charge. Y'all better have y'all taxes done. That's all I'm going to say. Because uh, if he was giving you... What they, Money I, see, I, seen, I seen the day that said she was getting 500000 a month. Well, I know Carisha... I know yeah. somebody saying he, she was getting an allowance for like a hundred k or something. No, nah, that was today that I seen it. I seen it this morning. It said she was getting like 500000 a month. Because I heard on the radio somebody else said hundred k. And uh, the lawyer was saying anything over 12K, whether it's uh, uh, expensive items, bags, or whatever, you're supposed to report that to the IRS. This my thing. Yeah. So if you these ain't... Are, these are allegations. Yeah, they allegations. We don't know the amounts. We don't know if she really We, we don't know the amounts, but like, hey, that came out with a large sum of money. We know that. And we know most black people ain't reporting that shit to the IRS if somebody's giving you something. That's like what Biden is trying to do now with the whole... Five hundred dollars to report on gig workers and everything, trying to get see where all your money is going. Everybody and that's the same was, thing with your cash app. And yeah, with cash app and everything, they want to know where the money is going. We want our cut. We want our cut. So and they can't tax that. So well, well they can. They, they can. They, they, but because they not people not reporting and they all y'all barbers, beauty beauty beauticians, beauticians and all of this. And beauty tissues. Yeah, beauty tissues. <laughs> Uh, beauticians and all of this, y'all doing the same thing. They ain't reporting all that money. Because I've known chicks in the hood used to do hair. Shops in the house. They ain't I mean, when I was doing hair, I wasn't re yeah, you, reporting it either. Uh, uh, at shh, the shh, house. Shh, shh. Uh, Me telling on yourself, man? Sorry. <laughs> it was years ago. I'm not actively doing hair anymore. So, I mean. And, and it wasn't no $1,000 or nothing like that. But uh, I mean, who's to say it wasn't? Who's to say it was? Man, you just tell it on yourself. <laughs> you just messing it all up. You go to jail, hey, I, I come, you said you don't like that orange jumpsuit, but... First of all... Keep talking. First of all, don't be telling nobody that I like orange jumpsuit. <laughs> you, said, you said you don't. I don't. But you keep talking, you're going to get an orange jumpsuit probably. <laughs> I thought I didn't look good in orange until I wore orange the other day. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I hope y'all didn't... I hope Carisha and 50 Cent Baby Mama didn't pay they, uh taxes, because that's where... You know, most drug cases, it always come down to. That's how they get a lot of them for not paying their taxes. Oh, nah. no. For uh, tax evasion, then you'd be like, "Man, that's what they got you on tax evasion." Because it's, uh, the really the reality to it is they're trying to get you on anything that they think yeah, don't so stick. They, yeah. they can't get you on the on the what they really want to get you on. So they come up with these. Other well, they didn't come up with tax evasion is tax evasion. Right. IRS won't stay money regardless. They, if you ain't been paying us, so I, what you said they was together for how long? At least two or three years. Two years, I uh, know for sure. Oh, well, she, she good long as she file it right now and get those taxes in by such and such and get them paid. <laughs> she should be good. But if it's over that three years, oh yeah, they they coming for you. They gonna get you. Wow. So I mean, it's all unfortunate, and I just think. This is a testament to the be careful the company you keep. Because real people going, if they was with you, you when keep, you was good, they going to ride with you when you bad. Like, Well, I guess. Well, it used to be that way, but it ain't that way no more. But that's why I said be careful the company it, you keep. It's, it's just like with snitching. People, every, everybody telling on their partners and everything. It used to not, well, I guess it was that. It wasn't supposed to be that way. But it ended up turning that way where everybody just telling on everybody just to say themselves or or distancing themselves from people who are in trouble or whatever. Oh yeah, then 50 cent maybe mama. 
you know, she's in the Rico, and he been he been going on to her, which is crazy. He been going in on all of them. Which is crazy that uh, uh, I guess she hit him with the old he. They saying he he uh raped her. Used to, yeah, she yeah he raped her and beat her up. I but, was like, you, but but look, everybody's like, now this is what you gonna do? Since he talking about getting the kid custody of his kid, now you gonna say this? Cause but you listen, jammed up. But this the thing. You got a baby. He, okay, you said he did this to you. So even after he did that to you, you still in turn had sex with him and then have a baby with him. How long have they been separated? Mm hmm. Cause he he was with the one this one that one girl for a minute, and then they just broke up in the last few months. So it's been a minute. Cause the kid is at least he looked like he at least six or seven. I think he older than that. Uh, I'm gonna have to find that out. But come on now, that that just sounds weird to me. That that you gonna say that when y'all was in a relationship, he 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 did that to you, and then yeah, y'all gotta y'all share a child. Cause he trying to get custody. And majority, he most majority of the time, I see the kids with him. <laughs> cause you out there doing everything. <laughs> Come on, man! I just want people to stop playing. Oh, he said you was out there selling yourself. <laughs> Talking about, boy, I didn't know you was a, hey, boy, 50, a boy, SCX worker. Boy, Fifty ain't got no chill, boy. Yeah, somebody somebody hurt him. Somebody get his, he need a hug. If somebody don't go hug 50 and, and love him back to being a, a different type of person. Because the, the way he been going. That's been gone. That, 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 there ain't no coming back from, from that. He grew up where he grew up. Ain't no coming back from that. Like, dude. Your, his environment has made him what he is today. Stay who you are, 50. Because ain't nobody touching you. Somebody hugged that nigga. But, hey, we just got to the gym. What's uh, your boy say? Uh, that young cat we was watching yesterday with the girls, with the with the dudes. Nah. <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> well, well, just, I can't remember what the what is the what the dude's name is. I, we I, would be watching. He just been coming up lately. I ain't even pay attention to his channel. But uh, hey, we just got to the gym. Oh Jesus, we gonna go ahead and get in and uh, get too peasy to work because she doesn't. You need some of this? Cause you look like you, you look like you don't even want to be here. You made her mad. I ain't said nothing to her. I heard you going in, going in there, talking about leave my TV alone. I heard you going back and forth. She was being still mean asleep. to her. Well, nobody being mean to her. Get up. Don't be this, mean to your best friend, cause you already know. This is what we doing. You good back there? You happy? You, you gotta excited? give her a hug. You need a hug. Mm -hmm. Come on, bring it in for the channel. Come on, hug your daddy. Bring it in. Come on, hug him. Bring it in. If you don't hug him, Bam gonna hug him. So I, I suggest you hug him. <laughs> <laughs> we be back, y'all. Peace. Go into the beauty slot shop. Not the beauty shop, but the beauty store. I got everything I needed. Hey, you're in there for like 45 minutes. It's like amazing that it's so good. I was like, you know I'm what? I'm like, man, I hope you're in there recording. I said, the next time we go in there, we definitely gonna record because I'm gonna ask them like, you know, can we record? They customer service is great. Like they gave her discounts on stuff. She got a bag of a free, free hair. hair. She gave her free, all kinds of extra free stuff. I'm like, I like the treatment of my hair. Man. I'm sorry, you do, you do. I mean, it's, it's so clean and so I've been nice. in there before, I, we told you. you to it's so clean, so well organized. You I got hair. What you talking about? You see this? this but they, the, the security don't play. They watching your ass. They, oh yeah, they don't play. She like don't don't come in here with that foolery. But yeah, they just found. Well, I found the beauty store right by our gym, and it's like. It's like a mall. How can you exp how can you explain this beauty store? It's like a Target for it's, hair. It's like they got clothes in the back. They yeah, I guess you could say that. You're thinking of it. It's clean. It's clean. neat. Very or it's bright. In order. Yeah. Everything's organized. It's not yeah. like when you go into Walmart. <laughs> yeah, right and they, and there's somebody that's walking and like set, making sure that everything stay perfectly like organized. organized. Like it's crazy. Yeah, this is, when I first went in there, I was like, oh my god, I'm I'm amazed. Yeah, it made you want to walk and look. Yeah, this is like this is the best uh, beauty store I've ever been in. Yeah. I don't know. Was it? Is it? I wonder if it's Asians on it. If it's Asians Day, this is the first Asian store I've ever seen that looked like that uh, on the inside. They don't look. Like, the guy who came up front, he don't look Asian at all. I don't know. He but look Hispanic. Hispanic. I don't know, but they doing their thing on that one because I'm like, man. I always thought about opening one 
Because I know women spill, spend billions on stuff they don't need half the time. And it's, it's a good way to make some money. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how I would want my store to look on the inside when you come in there. Yeah, that's definitely it. It definitely make you feel good walking through. Like they got one whole side. It's got little lingerie pieces in the back. It's got like little sports, uh, you know, like little pieces. There's a whole side for just little kids. I see. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's like there. a whole side for little kids. In the front of the store is all like lashes, makeup. They got even got a ring camera for like people messing around over there in the makeup area if they want to take pictures and stuff. I mean, it's nice. Like I, I've never seen anything like that. And they, in the back is like where your wigs is at. You can try on wigs, and they have a whole sitting area. Like, and the best part is, is nobody you talk to in the store make you feel like you inconvenience anybody by asking a question. Nobody walking around like you about to steal something. No, and even the girl at the <laughs> register, we asking her like, what did you put on your curls to make them like pop the way they did? She explained everything. She told her the product that she used. She um she um she explained how she did it, what she used. She was like, wait, I think we got some um some free product I can give you. She ran over to the side, got a whole bunch of them, brought them back. Then she was just like, because I had a little. You know they beauty card she was like oh she get a, a free bag of hair on the car i was like what you had a beauty card you know they gave the cards when i came in there that first time and i signed up for it i was uh, like i don't know i'm never carry it but she was like it's it's okay it's attached to your I number i need to give me some new clippers and blades i might have to go yeah. in there so she gave i know her, they had everything when i went in there for me i was like oh god damn they got everything yeah when you spend money they give you like credits off of your stuff so she was like i'm gonna use your credits on her stuff and she because you're using yours and you got a car you get a free bag of hair um i mean the bag of hair is six bucks but a bag of hair is a bag of hair or braiding hair you didn't get that uh expensive hair we i'm not that, buying that, that hundred dollar bag hair mm -mm, the malaysians yeah you gotta get that malaysian hair that, that good hair we just braiding <laughs> we just doing we just doing box braids you know with a little that, wave to that, that's not in your budget Oh, it's in your, well, it it's it. been if I had to no, three hundred dollars a pack is not in your budget. Okay, let's get it together. That's not in her budget right now. You don't need it. Just keep using your own hair. That's what I say anyway. But she's trying to get something that's gonna be easy for her, to, but but clean and pretty for her to maintain when she go to her conference. Well, why is she doing her hair now? I still like I'm what? Not, no, she just was like, "Why we here?" So we don't have to. Uh. Yeah. Last minute, how y'all always be chasing yes, and down? and then we be mad, so we're not about to do that. Well, you, you. Yeah, you be mad. I'll be mad because I got to drive all, all over on the other side of Fort Worth. Okay, you don't drive no other time. When do you drive? You know, me and Daviana was talking about no, this. when do you drive? That's the question first, then we can go in. I pick her up from school. Every, yeah. I go to the grocery store. Oh, nigga, come on, man. We're not, we're gonna First stop all, that. Don't come in it. Oh, you're right. Nigglet. <laughs> don't come in nigglet either. The, uh, I don't, uh, no, I don't drive that much. And you know what? I had to drive to take my daughter to the doctor the Friday. And I realized because I don't be in traffic anymore because I work from home, it gives me like extreme anxiety. The, all of the constant movement and stuff. And I think like. Even we're not going to use work at home as it is. Well, I guess that it is part of it. Because, because I was driving that, to work. But that was the only time you did drive. When have you ever just said, hey, when we leave, you just get behind the wheel? I'm going to do like my daughter. I have to be I'm like, gonna hey. I'm going to do like my daughter-in-law say. I have to be like, hey, you driving. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you my daughter-in-law look when she, when she Some, was talking sometimes about. Sometimes I want to sit in the passenger seat and just kick my feet up. Cause I drive all around the country, regular. You are you. I got trillions of miles on my uh, 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 driver's is, license. That is clearly your choice. It's not a choice. It's a choice for y'all. It's a choice for you. No, a to choice drive for y'all to make sure y'all good. You and picked that eat. job, sir. We didn't hey, pick I didn't pick job. the job. The job picked me. Okay. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> you applied for it and they picked you. It's what God picked for me. Okay. That's why I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. See, but you, but you but you're right and most of the time for two reasons um even though you're a passenger you can't just be a passenger you want to control what i listen to i can't listen to all I of that be, when i'm driving be, yeah you can no you, i don't you I be don't. doing it when you're in the car no, what I you don't. say the other day when the guy pulled up you was out there mobbing 
Well, that's because I was coming from out there, and I told you. Coming I out where? And you and you was out there mobbing. What was you listening to? La Russell. Okay, slapping. But he trying to keep up with you. That's your story. That's what you told me. I'm, I was trying to calm myself because it was so much going on in traffic. That's okay. I was what, trying to. Calm what's myself. going on in traffic besides traffic? Dude, it's got these people stopping over here. Trucks is doing. You know how I feel about big trucks. All that engagement where you feel like they coming in on you. They moving all over the place. The you back know, end is really... swaying all over the place because it was the wind was insane. It has been windy, but like. So it was just a lot. And it was extremely busy, back to back, stop, go, stop, go. Like, it's a lot. For, for somebody who literally, I've been for real since we went on lockdown, I've been working from home. No, you was you went back in for a minute. For a month, two. And, and then they told you to kick rocks. Whatever. Which was some, <laughs> some my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly. Why are you gonna have me come back in? And just tell me kick rocks. I, right, you could have told this that at from home. home. <laughs> That's how I felt. You could have just told me this at home. You didn't have to have me come in to do this. Let me do all that. Stop playing with me. What you get? And when Why I say I, when I say I was not mad, I was not mad. Bye. Thank you for playing. You said what? That's how I felt. She like what we get. You get a protein shake okay. and a protein cookie. Like the ones that I had. That's what you get. Why you put... Why is she so close? Girl, you over the line. Yes, old lady. <sighs> yes, old lady. Just hit her car. She no. I don't want to get out. Being, oh, people. Being black on Resurrection Day. Maybe she's celebrating bunny rabbits. And because she's celebrating bunny rabbits and not the resurrection, that's why she got off. No, that ain't why. Just when you're old, man. You're getting old. I noticed that with a lot of old people. I give them Ooh, grace. Wait a minute. Don't do that. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit her car. Hold up. I can move over some more. Shut the door. Even though I'm centered, but... You want some norm? Yeah. <sighs> See, that's better. No, she always going for me. The person in the passenger seat gets to go in all the places. No, that's what that is. I'm driving. I can be lazy at the wheel and go to sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, but we'll be right back. Girl, can I get in the car? My God. You ain't supposed to get cheesy. You supposed to get. You supposed to get a protein shake. I did. A cookie. She, she got a smoothie. Oh, Jesus. They had peanut butter. With milk. Mm -hmm. I see vanilla. That means you, you're not working hard enough. I see vanilla. This is what I my go-to right here. Be kind with your words, sir. It's what? It's my go-to. Vegan cookie and a uh, core power strawberry high-protein oh. milkshake. Did you say boo? I haven't had one of those in a while. But, um, so I guess we, we're not going to talk about Diddy in that situation no more. Today is Easter Sunday. Resurrection Day. Thank you, Lord. What? Maybe we should ask the people that why do we celebrate bunny rabbits? Uh, <laughs> you I really, just want to know. You really on that? Yes. I'm very confused. Google it. See I'm what about, that's up. what I'm about to say. Hold on. How did bunny rabbits get into the resurrection of Jesus? Like, how did they associate? I typed in, what is Easter? It says Easter is also called Pashana, Pashini, or Pashana, or Resurrection Sunday. You didn't ask the right question. You just said, what is Easter called? 
Who didn't ask? It says it's Christian uh, festival and cultured holiday com com camaraderating. I know I'm not saying it right. The resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Descriptions of the New Testament have. So what you? The question you want me to ask is how, how do does we bunny rabbits get involved? Yes. Okay, how does she didn't work out at the gym? Yes, I Who did. Who didn't? in the back feet. I did work out. My wrist. Ew, that smells like mighty mango. Something. Bunnies it's it was strong. I just cracked it. Apparently, it's not a new question because it popped up. It says eggs, just like the rabbit, have long been considered an ancient symbol, uh, a symbol of fertility, rebirth, and new life. All associated with the springtime celebration of Easter. From a Christian perspective, Easter eggs represent Jesus' resurrection and his and his emergence from the tomb. So, okay, so basically what they're trying to say I guess, is but bunnies are supposed to be. How does cracking an egg? Like, they says say that again. Read it one more time. Eggs, just like Listen. rabbits, have been a long have long been considered an ancient symbol of fertility. Eggs. Fertility, eggs, which that makes sense. Eggs is fertility. That is the birth of yeah. something. I guess that must have changed when everybody started eating eggs all the time. Well, first, let's they not must not, let's not even go into <laughs> that because they must not been eating eggs back oh. then. <laughs> yeah, they must not be that eating eggs back then video. because it says that. it says. They have long been considered the symbol of fertility, which makes sense because that's what eggs is the rep. That's what it is. Uh, I, eggs I, in I, women, I, eggs in animals. Yeah, okay, I, so that's that means the rebirth of the or new life. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Cause my my, my mom was like, "How are we talking about the resurrection of Christ?" And we celebrating bunnies and eggs and kids is getting colored. But eggs it, did it say when was the time frame on that? You know, people they always gotta take it up a notch. But we gonna make these eggs look better than what they are. Let's paint them. I said, see human beings. And draw faces on them. Because it's coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Um. He ain't come back. It says Easter Bunny and Easter Egg eggs originated as a pagan symbol of spring and rebirth. Pagans. Pagans over, is the word. Over the centuries. Pagans. <laughs> zip it. Over the centuries, these ancient symbols became associated with the Christian holiday of Easter such that two traditions have merged together to become what some celebrate today as Easter. So, I guess I got my answer somewhat. Well, but you know, but God to me, God said, "Don't worship, worship the pagan holiday." I'm worshiping the Lord and His resurrection. But so, did he say do that? Well, you're not supposed to <laughs> worship anything. <laughs> we going, you know, I ain't even gonna go there today. Don't get into religion. No <laughs> people gonna come. <laughs> I ain't even gonna go there. Them, them, the ooze already canceled uh, Candace for saying Christ is king. Better stay in your lane, uh -oh. sir. Better stay in your lane. You're right. No. I'm going to stay in my lane for now. No. Until I get that bag up. They block bags too. <laughs> That's a game. And then I ain't gonna care. <laughs> about that. But uh Y'all know I get my core vanilla. It's a vegan too. Now. Maybe. This day is Easter Sunday. Damn, boy, it's just Resurrection still, Sunday. It's still <laughs> Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. I'm gonna Sunday. get you together. Don't worry about it. Everybody calls it with that. So I guess we still gonna go into uh, religion. What? What you 
Brooks. So I'm mad you do it. Mm -hmm. Pull up the red heifer. Yeah. For y'all people who don't know. You just can't leave this alone. Nah, I can't leave that alone because it's too close to oh. everything that's going on. And the Hodges found out recently that they saying they got ties with what's going on in Israel and Palestine. I'm like, oh man, maybe. And this has been foretold centuries ago. That's like, what was we watching? Uh, ah, well, we was watching Doom last night. Talking about the prophecies and everything and what would happen. Mm -hmm. And the Savior return. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let me see if you pull it up. Up, what is it representing in the Bible? I guess, you, yeah, you can start with that one. Oh, I need, I need to uh, charge my phone. You need I, what? For some reason, my phone's at 10%. I do listen to music. The, um, it says the red heifer represents Christ because it sacrificed, sacrifices its blood so that the children of Israel can enter into the holy of the holies. Or the presence of God. Jesus Christ neither by the blood of the goats and calves, but by his own blood entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. You you, you want the law? Yeah, we get it all. Okay, because I have to go deeper for that. Oh no, I'm not about to read this. Thirteen pages? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe yeah. Hold on, let me find them. Uh, they got to do their own research, as we'll say. Disclaimer. Um, <laughs> what is the red he heifer in Hebrew? See if there's anything. Uh, like, what does it mean? No, stating now that Israel has the red heifer. Okay, tell them the real purpose of this. It's, 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 it's all tying in with what's going on over there right now. That's the purpose of it. What is the prophecy about? Did it say? Did I said, it? what does Israel have the red heifer? That's what you told me to ask. Ask it, does Israel have the red heifer? That's what I did. What is what came up? It says the red heifer classifies as a pet to bypass export regulation and destined for sacrifice on a massive white altar in Jerusalem. According to the Jew text. The red heifer is a cow that is entirely red in color without any blemish or marks and has never been used for work. Hasn't been milk, hasn't been anything. Basically, it's, it's, I guess you can say it's a bird. And it says, yeah, it is. What, happens after, what happens after the red heifer is sacrificed? What does it say? It says, it is believed that the purifying rites required for building the running the third temple demand uh, no, sorry depend on red heifer sacrifice jewish law states that the ashes of the red heifer are combined with water to make a solution that purifies people and holy items granting ceremonial cleanliness so does it say anything about what, what's going to happen afterwards Israel Israel's Israel's that's weird Israel believe that the preparation and sacrifice of the red heifer are prerequisites for the building of the third temple in Jerusalem where today the I can't say that word what? she said let her see have the Sacrifice yet. Okay, so you say have it been sacrificed yet? No, since, I, I know it hasn't, but what I said, what is it? It says what's supposed since, to happen since after the it? era of Moses, only nine red heifers have been sacrificed. Okay. The, well, I, I guess you haven't found anything yet. But from what I've been seeing. You wanna know why they worship the cow? Uh, yes. 
No, it's a sacrifice. They're really not worshiping. But there was a channel. I forgot the channel I was watching, which it just came up and it was talking about it. Oh, what we was about another day? Yeah, and basically he was saying, you know, I think they, they got the red heifer from the States. From I want to say it was either Texas. This red heifer it's, they got. It's red. Yeah, it, it's I'm red. It's all red. red. Yeah, yeah. But you'll probably have to uh, YouTube with red heifer and you'll see all the stuff that comes up. But from one of the things... It says the, it's prepared as of March the 29th. Yeah. Massive altar prepared for red heifer sacrifices ritual in Ju Jerusalem. So they saying this is supposed to happen... They got it from Texas. Yeah. So, okay. So they saying this is supposed to happen from now until the end of April. And basically... Yeah, because Ramadan is... From what, from what I didn't see, they saying this red heifer, which... The Muslims... What's, what's the building with the gold dome? Uh, no, no, no. This is the, the round boss? dome. This is the the. Uh, I think it is. It, I can't think about it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They don't. But they saying that. Well, they saying that building is supposed to get destroyed, and that's part of. And once that get destroyed. They're gonna rebuild a new uh Israel is supposed to rebuild a new temple and all of that. But they saying if that build if that temple gets destroyed, Muslims all across the world are gonna come together and it's supposed to be the, the holy war. It's supposed to fight Israel because they don't want that to happen. But it's 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 supposed to symbolize uh it says reports merge of a massive altar being prepared in Jerusalem. This ancient ritual, dating back to the time of Moses and steeped in religious significance, has captured the attention of the world. Um, it says, according to the Jewish tradition, a perfectly red heifer is required for a ritual purification. Sorry, um, I had these peanuts in my mouth. These in my mouth. Shut up. <laughs> Necessary for construction of the third temple in Jerusalem. The construction of this temple is desire for some radical Jewish groups who believe it will lead to the arrival of the Messiah. However, um, the proposed location for this temple, the temple, the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, Old City, is also the Aliquest Mosque yeah. and the Dome of the Rock Shrine two of the holiest sites in Islam. This um, this religious significance has long been a flashpoint for con conflict between Israel and the Palestines. Uh, since the era of Moses, only nine red heifers have been sacrificed, a testament to the rarity of the significance of this event. Now, um, 10 sacrifices, blah, 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 blah preparation for the ceremony. Offering before blah blah blah. That's five transfer. Okay, so they in September of 22, they got five red heifers were tra transported from the state of Texas to the land of Israel. Through one heifer has since been disqualified. The remaining four stand as candidates for the sacrifice, groomed and safeguarded for their role. Recent reports indicate that the construction of the mass altar in Israel, purportedly in anticipation of the forthcoming sacrifice, and I'm trying to see where it goes into where the ceremony is slated to take place on the Mount of Olives, okay, overlooking yeah. the historical site of the Temple Monument. It says, the speculating regarding the time of this sacrifice has intensified in the last re in the recent weeks um, with the suggestion that it coincides with the upcoming Passover. So Passover is next week, I think. Or toward the end, because I think Ramadan yeah. is coming up. I know so. that, I know that, yeah, that's why I was saying, I know they've been saying since, when, I think it is from Passover to the end of the month sometime. Right they saying this is supposed to take place. So it says amidst whispers of the potential dates 
um, in preparation. Israel braces for the repercussions as this is a historic event. Yet against the backdrop of religious favors and ancient traditions, tensions loom large. Um, because of the acknowledgement of the symbolic of what this red heifer would mean. I'm gonna have to do some more research on the, um, the so, temple that you know where they're saying it's supposed to uh, be destroyed with the Muslims that it talked about. In there. Yeah, it says this prophet of their sacrifice threatens to alleviate the existence t tensions, rising concerns over potential unrest and the international ramifications. Oh, I was like, Nala, what you doing in this back seat? Like, Federal you, prison. You, not we, we not gonna do that. <laughs> so I don't want to move. They believe that this sacrifice will cause even more tensions amongst religious groups. Yeah, between the Muslims and the Israel's the, and the Palestinians. Yes. Muslims and the the people that are shutting everybody up nowadays. <laughs> they saying that this heifer signifies the end times. Yeah. That's what it is. And they, they, from what I done seen, they done said that this is supposed to start where the Antichrist comes along. But they saying that the and Antichrist he's, is supposed to come as a person who gathers brings us peace, together. Brings peace. Brings everybody peace. together. Said he's going to bring peace, bring everybody together. I think they said for like seven years. And after that, it's just going to go like. Complete chaos. World on fire. We all going to burn. I'm just waiting on the Lord to I don't know. Return. I just, for me, I think, I know, like, why would you have to go find a red heifer if, cause gotta if be, this is they, ordained in the Bible? Yeah, that, they had the, because red, red heifers ain't everywhere. Why wouldn't the red heifer just appear or wouldn't a red heifer? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like y'all going and trying to find a, a red heifer to suit Where Charles. do red heifers come from? How do you? I've never heard or anything, seen anything about a red heifer. I mean, it's just a red cow. But a, I've never, I've, I've never seen anything with a red cow. I've seen nothing. I've seen, we've watched. I've seen a red cow before. It's just a skin curler. No, I, where you seen it at? We drop past all the. We ain't talking about a buffalo Texas. that look like a. I know the difference between a buffalo. Don't play with me. Nicole, you've never seen a red cow. Yeah, I have. Where? You see them on the. You saw a red heifer. Where? I travel all through Texas, and I ain't never seen a sign that had a red heifer on it. I'm going to show y'all what one look like. So y'all. That's not what we're saying. Where have you ever heard, before this came up, where have you ever heard about or seen anything like, oh, shit, that's a red cow? That's a red well, cow. Well, first of all, have you, you ever seen a red cow? You I've would, never seen nothing like that. You've seen a cow that looks like this. You just didn't ever think it. that's called a red cow. What? It's see. just their coat. I don't think that's the actual red cow. Yes, it is. They just showed the one in Israel. That one, that that one looks more brown than anything. Because the one... Well, maybe, you know, everybody do be putting their thumbnails and making them These look These are the ones that they... See, they, now, that one look more red. That that see. does kind of look like a reddish brown. Let me see. I've always seen brown cows, white cows. I, I like a ginger's cow. Thank you. Like, I've I mean, never really seen... I mean, you know, I guess everybody with their thumbnails is making that sucker look like... Way yeah, redder than it, it, it is, it, it, and that's because it, people altering it, images. But you never thought about that till now. But yeah, it, it's saying that that's supposed to start, and the Antichrist is supposed to come. And, and the only thing he, that he, makes this cow so significant is because he's never been used for milk. Nothing, he's, anything. He's a virgin cow. Like he's like a, it's like a princess sitting on a throne that ain't never been touched or, or vandalized. Yeah, nothing. See, I thought it was one. You said they had five and they one had. been disqualified. So I wonder what why did one get disqualified? What did, because what he happened? probably got violated. What, what, what happened to get that one disqualified? But it's crazy how that is all tying into us and what people have been saying with what's going on with uh Israel and Palestine right now. Ooh, yeah, they always I don't mean to go by like, man, how much you want for that one of those caddies? Look, this way this is away from what we was about to say, yeah. but yeah. We driving through the part of Texas we stay in, which is the Fort Worth area. Y'all, it almost looks like a ghost town. Everything is closed. It's so they observe holiday, a holy day. <laughs> Did you say life. it's so ghetto? Yeah. Oh. Why don't we go to Southside? You know what? Our kids have no idea about the ghetto. They have no idea about the ghetto. Which I ain't even going to say is the ghetto. It was hood. It was home. So I, I didn't live in the ghetto. I lived in the nice, 
what I say, urban community on my block. Everybody was friends and neighbors. But we, we're not going to veer away from what we on right now. I was just saying, everything is, like, deserted. Everything closed. Like, the food places, they probably going to close up at 5, so. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Today is, uh, yeah. Yeah, since it's the holiday. Yeah. Most food places and stuff going to close at 5. Because there could be more traffic around here. That's what I said. It looked like a zombie town. Everything closed. Well, yeah, so, so this, this whole red heifer and everything and what's supposed to happen is we supposed to go in and, and the Antichrist is supposed to reveal itself. And when I was telling my wife, you know what? This is crazy. Who right now is talking peace and bringing everybody together and fighting uh, corruption? Who's trying to be elected as president? And no, I ain't talking about Trump. And no, I ain't talking about uh, Sleepy Joe. I'm talking about RFK, and it had me think like, oh, that would be crazy. If he do get in there and win, and you know, he brings, because it, that person's supposed to bring pre, uh, peace and get everybody to get on board with peace and the whole agenda, and then for seven years, it'll be a great and everything, then after that, it's going to be like... Well, he only do four years, so... Nuts. That's if it go crazy after but, he But leaves. no, no, but if, if you get a second term, mm -hmm. so that you get eight years... And it, that'd be right before he get ready to get out of there, too. You know, after it, you know, in his seventh year, he like, hey, I got to do what I got to do. That did just make me think. I'm not saying that's the case, because uh, if, if y'all watched the last video, y'all know how I feel about the politics right now and everything that's going on with RFK and how they, the Democrats are doing dirty. And I think that's what people don't like about how they doing more than anything. And that's what's causing them a problem. When you in politics and you start seeing a side who's supposed to be oh that's a big ass pile uh, uh, a side that's for the people and honesty and doing everything right and you seeing them doing slick shit that is what pisses people are off more than anything and that's what's p p pissing people off with, with Trump you can say yeah. but what they've been doing to RFK is crazy how to just keep him off the ballot and all of that blocking stuff him out. and blocking him out and got all the media outlets, the mainstream media outlets uh, trying to report negativity on them or nothing. Man, it's crazy. But that would be crazy, you know, you know, if, if that happened to be that way. Or I got you wondering, but as we know, nobody is going to know who the Antichrist is. It's, it's just, who is supposed, supposed to be? I know everybody was saying that about I think every president come in to show these last few years. They try to say that about who it's going to be. But I do wonder who it's going to be. But hey, we'll know here at the end of this month if, if they sacrifice this red uh, heifer and that uh, temple gets destroyed and they try to rebuild the new temple. Uh, it, it's about to be chaotic. If y'all thought our Muslim bro brothers, sisters were tripping before, well, I ain't even going to say tripping they was just doing some i do not agree with none of the crazy bombings and all of that stuff but hey i'm not in none of that heavy what you want to call it the religion stuff radical right? radical religion stuff kill innocent people it's not me but we all know what's going on with israel and palestine right now if you've been paying attention to the media how they just like we just, just watched yesterday how they just bombing innocent civilians and everything. I seen the video with dude, they were, three, four guys were just walking on the street, like checking the debris, trying to find them for their family. Didn't have no weapons, nothing. And then <laughs> it, it's just been mm -hmm. crazy. But yeah, so hey, I just want to see what y'all thoughts on that and the red heifer. For me, I often wonder, I see those things happening. But I think I always be thinking, what's the convenience that it's a camera here? What you mean? Like that is set up, like it's not real. A camera where? There, I'm saying like in those spaces, like the dude just randomly walking, they're looking for people, and it just happened to be a camera there that sees. No, this it wasn't stuff a camera. I think it was actual drone footage that they got access to or something. Because you could see it, it was like looking down on them, like you know, if you watch the military movies, it shows the target and how. We see the target such and such, and then come down, yeah. just boom. But I just think it was looking very like convenient. that. Some of the the scenes that I've seen, it feels like a movie. Like.
it feels like somebody is having these things play out like just like you watching a movie for shock value like this is not really happening because i just always think like how this country in the middle of a war but we got time to pause to record well but they do got reporters there that's active and everything I mean, some, the reporters but they still living and they coming home fine not all of them it's been some that ain't made all it. Of them have died. yeah it's been some that ain't made i don't it. know i just that's With, how, I, I, I'm thinking of a, a complete country and complete turmoil and chaos, and I'm just, I just because it's all eyes, and they got, see that. they got cell phones, people are recording stuff right now, and to show what's going on. So you got people who still there, who are watching people, where it's their family or whatever, and they just recording out, and stuff just, it just happens to happen at that time. It just feels the way to me, and it feels almost like. A edited show. Yeah, they show. Like y'all are showing us these things because y'all want us to but it, be it, pulled into the drama of a war. But the, what they realize is they losing, because so many people is outraged at what's going on right now, and they saying that's also messing with uh uh, uh the Democrats, because mm -hmm. some especially all the young people is like you seeing this like there's no excuse for this. It's with no innocent issues. people and everything getting bombed. And it's not I like, don't understand like, why America can't just mind their business. We're yeah. just constantly it's interfearing in things that, it, uh, that are things because that it's are all, to do with us. Well, they, and then the things that you know, are, have to do with us. No, 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 no. But they not actually, we don't have no, what they say is how they keeping it is troops on the ground. Even though we are, from what I heard, they're funding their military. So everybody's like, stop funding it them. It was on one of our benchmarks for U.S. history like two or three weeks ago. And it talked about some of that stuff and how the U.S. has been helping them since, helping Israel way before, like way years ago. Yeah, they, they've been helping them, but you know, that what goes back to what I said about certain classes of people in power. Yeah, what everybody try to say, where they try to say we don't have no power or nothing, but we see what, we see who are, people who are not sheep see what's going on and who's pulling strings like okay if you don't have such and such how can you do this how can you say this i mean how are you how are you canceling out everybody's business deals and contracts and relationships with people just for them saying something and you calling it uh, uh i don't even want to say the word because i know now with the algorithm and everything listening TikTok. not TikTok, YouTube. but yeah they they censor you so I don't even want to say the word, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all should know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say the word because I don't want this video getting flagged. Because I had that getting flagged before when I said something about uh, the ex-president. Just move on. Yeah, so. But we see what's going on. Yeah, everything, yeah. The, the... Let me think, what's going to be for dinner? Cause, uh... That's what I was saying. Like we, we only got like a certain amount of time to figure it out. I didn't even see McDonald's open. We just passed. You know, but I didn't pay attention yeah. to that. I, I, yeah. I, I will say, um, I, I, I'll give you a prime example. Baltimore just had, and to all of those that are, were lost or affected by what happened in Baltimore with the bridge, our condolences. That scene is horrific. And it's actually one of my complete nightmares and has been since I was a kid about a bridge falling is it i remember that it, time i was going to atlanta and i took you over that bridge she almost lost her mind i uh, have like a panic attack like it's frightening to me but i will say this the government gave them some ridiculous hey, it's general, it's general lee. ridiculous amount of money look at them okay cars. it's general lee. yeah ridiculous amount of money I'm not saying it's ridiculous because that bridge, I, I, I don't, I can't even imagine how much they spent on it. Well, but what they say is like, fifteen billion. Billions, or something. billions of dollars. No, of, uh, it's like steel. Of, no, no, I ain't talking about the value of it, but just merchandise, because that's the uh, port. Oh, yeah, but I'm not, I'm not talking about the port. I'm talking about for them, that that they gave them this money to help them to get the bridge rebuilt and restructured, and Wait, how many months this? is gonna take? This is the other day they they had a whole Where little lot thing. From? My point exactly, uh, they, and they said it was billions. They can pull up money when they want to. So I'm pull like, money. it's crazy to me that our countries, our cities, and states, homeless people are suffering. We are suffering, not being able to pay rent, not even a, See, being able to like get decent wages for jobs. 
But y'all got money. Y'all just come out the wazoo with money to send to Ukraine, to send to this. And I mean, I get it because Baltimore is one of the largest ports that moves transport throughout our country. They say it's the fifth or seventh largest port in the state. In the top five places that moves coal, sugar. Uh, what 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 was the other list of things? Autos. Uh, yeah, yeah, autos. All of cars go through there. Like, I get it, but I'm. I just think that it's crazy to me that we can just. It's not. It crazy. was nothing. It's not crazy. A week later, we can get this money. Where you get the money? Meanwhile, from? homeless people is money just printer. like land over by bridges. For you, it is up but under the bridge in Texas, and they got the tents, area. but. You, Y'all just draw past them every day. Man, cause they don't care about that. We know, we know that. We gonna stop playing with that. Yeah, I'm just saying, like veterans that don't. What have... they tell you? Pull up your bootstrap and get to work. That's what they tell you. Why well, ain't nobody hiring out the, here? They hire. Yeah. They just not hiring for what you want to get paid for. That's what it is. If I got to have three jobs, that's where we're at. And, and, and $10 and that, an hour. And, and that's what RFK said. It used to be in my time, you didn't have to have all these jobs to take care of your family. And, and, you can't and, even spend and, time with your family when you got three jobs. Yeah. You can. No, no, you really can't. Internet, your phone. That's how you take. That's how you spend that's time not with spending family. time with your family. When, oh, they, yeah, when, when they out at parks, hey, let me see what you're doing. That's how they want you to be. That's disconnected yeah. as hell. Yeah. This whole world's getting told you, and that that's that's messing up what drives our world, families, and that like that go. No, no, I, I ain't gonna say our world. I say America, because when you hear other people talk about other countries and stuff, they not, like yeah. they not like this. Yeah, they not like this here. We was in the restaurant. Like was we was in Fifty Fourth Street Grill like a few weeks ago. We was at the table and we was having a conversation. And I I just I don't know. It was weird because it was like something said, "Look around," and I stopped. We were just got finished praying over our food. And I look around and there's a table of about twelve people and they're all in the family. And every single person at the table was like this. This ain't eating. And I thought the whole experience of having connection with family is going out the window. People getting blind too. We're gonna talk about that in the next one. I'm going blind, y'all. This this it's just sad to me. It's just because there's you can't be having real conversation. You can't like it's just I don't know. It it bothers me to see that. But that we spend more time looking at other people's lives than the lives that are right in front of you. As people are dying at a faster rate than ever before. The Huberts don't care. I didn't said that. They don't care. It is what it is. So what you going in here for? I don't know. We got to figure it out. What's we going? What's your mama you. fixing for dinner? I got ravioli. I'm not eating no damn ravioli. Uh, ravioli. I know, right? We gone. You lost me on that one, okay? You get her a can of ravioli. I got a garlic bread. Can of ravioli for no, you? Some no, garlic bread. I was Good. No, you. I was talking about for us. No, no, no. For you. You weren't talking about that for us. <laughs> But hey, we about to go in this store and uh why don't y'all go ahead? I should have told y'all at the beginning, but hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell. Hey, you talk about how like stay up to date. Share this with everybody if you can. And leave comments. What y'all think we, about they this? They do leave comments, but you don't be checking the comments. I do be time. checking the comments because I told you the other day. I had already you? seen that. You just ran it all of a sudden. I was like, Yeah, I already seen that. Because it'd be a lot of stuff be like, why you ain't responding to the comments? Sometimes, even on even on our, our uh, uh, boutique page, I'm like, there's a lot of stuff that come in you don't ever respond to. On the, the boutique page, e yeah, even boutique b boutique stuff, people be like, hey, we want you to be a uh, uh, ambassador and stuff. And I, I like that. A lot of that, because I click on the link and I look at the clothing lines and then I move right so, on back. A lot on. of it's been jewelry here lately. It doesn't little pieces like stuff you be wearing. I'm like, you What's go ahead, jewelry? get you. What's jury? Get, get out of here. Okay? What's jury? It's jury. With a D? Jewelry. Jury. With a D. No, with a D. I, know. I said jury. What you talking about? Jewelry. That's what I said. Jury. Jewelry. <laughs> jewelry. Hey. It is what it is. With a J yeah, or it is. Jury. You yeah. like it's a jury day. No, I didn't say jury. You sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get, get your Are life. you a part of the jury? But hey, we out. <laughs> Peace. I wanna spend some time with
Just the two of us.